you can calculate the dot product or scalar product of vectors expressed in terms of i and j. Here the vector x is equal to x1i plus x2j and the vector y is equal to y1i plus y2j. Then the dot product of x with y is equal to x1i plus x2j which is the vector x dotted with the vector y. The result is x1y1 plus x2y2. This can be derived from the general definition of the dot product. So when you're finding the dot product of x with y in terms of i and j, you find the product of the i coefficients, which is x1 by y1. You find the product of the j coefficients, which is x2 by y2, and you add them together. Now just proving this result, so you have the vector x dotted with the vector y is equal to x1i plus x2j dotted with y1i plus y2j. So I'm multiplying out these brackets. x1i by y1i plus y2j plus x2j times y1i plus y2j. So this gives you x1y1 i dotted with i plus x1 y2 i dotted with j plus x2 y1 j dotted with i plus x2 y2 j dotted with j. This is equal to x1 y1. Now the dot product of i with i is 1, as we've previously discussed, plus x1, y2, the dot product of i with j as their perpendicular is 0, plus x2, y1, the dot product of j with i, again their perpendicular, so it's 0, plus x2, y2, and the dot product of j with j is 1. This is equal to x1, y1 plus 0 plus 0 plus x2 y2 which is equal to x1 y1 plus x2 y2 and there is the result. So for example if you have the vector x is equal to 5i minus 3j and the vector y is equal to 7i plus 2j. And you want to find the dot product of x with y. This is equal to, well first you have to find the product of the i coefficients, so it's 5 times 7, and you add this to the product of the j coefficients, minus 3 by 2. 5 sevens are 35, Minus 3 by a plus 2 is minus 6. And 35 minus 6 is 29. So the result of the dot product of two vectors is a scalar.